Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So today I'm going to be talking about brass brushing steel. Thanks for watching. Okay everybody, so the first trick that I'm, well, I guess it's not really a trick. Everybody's seen this before or a lot of people have. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take and forge out a small leaf. Now this leaf doesn't have to be made out of anything particular. It can be made out of any piece of bar stock you like. In this case, I'm just going to use a piece of 3 8 inch square bar or 9 mil square. We're going to go ahead and get this heated up and I'm going to forge a leaf. Now, to demonstrate this, a leaf is one of the simplest things to really illustrate brass brushing at its best. I believe brass brushing should take place on something that has good texture or quite a bit of texture. It looks kind of flat and bland and you can definitely see the brushing marks if it's just on flat steel. So anything that's got a surface texture to it is actually the best if you can get it. So let's, uh, let's get this leaf forged out real quick and I'll be right back with you for the brushing. Okie doke everyone, so now we've got this forged out and I want to make a few notes here. So, <coughs> so I left one side of it where I did a very heavy or aggressive cross peen texture and the other side I smoothed out some of that texture. Just so you can see the difference between the two halves and decide for yourself which one looks a little better. Like I've already previously stated, I prefer the heavier texture when I do brass brushing. but. This is the type of brass brush I use. The brass brush I use is a barbecue grill brush. I will try to put the links to this particular brush down in the description down below. Those are affiliate links. They do go to help support the channel if uh, you decide to purchase your brass brush through them. But anyways, that will give you some uh, a good place to start anyhow. What you want to look for is a soft brass bristle brush. Now don't be fooled by other brushes. There's brushes out there that they claim they're a brass brush, but what they are, they're brass plated steel brushes. And that might be some of your problems if you're having problems with brass brushing and it doesn't seem to be working, check your brush. It may not be, uh, you, may not be you doing something wrong. It may be the fact that it's just a steel brush that's been plated in brass. So I've had that happen before, so make sure it is a good quality brass brush. So the first things first on this is temperature. You don't want to be brass brushing at this heat. This is, uh, you know, a bright red, really dull orange heat. This is where you want to take and clean the material of any forging scale and get a little bit of, it won't rescale on you. And this will help it get just a wee bit of sheen to it, just a little bit of a sheen. You see that there? That's going to help the brass pop. Next, at now this heat, the color is just about faded out completely. You want to brush against or perpendicular to the 
uh, texture, if you will. Don't brush with the texture, otherwise you'll get down into the grooves. Brush lengthways of the leaf or whatever. And then the same thing here on the other side. We'll give it a little brushing. And again, there we go, that's what we've got. So now it doesn't look too much like anything. You can see a little bit of that color come on there. Doing it at that, just where the color just fades out from a dull red down to a black heat, that's when you brass brush. Then I like to dip it in water to set that in. And that helps to lock in that brassing effect. Let's see if I can get you guys in a little closer, guys and gals in a little closer. Bear with me. There you go. So hopefully you can see the difference between those two. It becomes a lot more apparent once you apply a wax or something of the like coating. You can really see the difference between the two. But that's when I brush and I don't brush with the brass brush. I like it when it has a heavier texture. It seems to pull more of that brass off and give it a lot more interest, visual interest. Uh, like I said, this deepens in color when you use uh, when you use the wax on it or anything like that or coat it later on it'll really deepen and darken out in color and really show off them brass highlights. But anyways, that's how you use a brass brush on steel. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to give it a like and a big thumb, you know, big thumbs up if you liked it, big thumbs down if you disliked it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, you may want to consider doing so and hitting that bell for notifications. I make new videos every single day. So anyways, I hope that'll help somebody out there. Like I always say, God bless you, and we will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.